What it is dope. It's your boy Crook LDBT. What how did we get it? And today we got another reaction video. Now listen, guys. Clay Thompson comes back against the Cavs and literally tomorrow. Currently it's like 3:30 in the morning. I randomly woke up. Like, I just came from a sushi restaurant, tried sushi for the first time. It was great. Went to sleep, got into a food coma, and I woke up, right? And I was just scrolling on my timeline. And I was just like, Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson do come back tomorrow, don't he? So I just wanted to react to this video because I thought this was actually a newer uh, Pro-Am run, but it's not. It's supposed to be, like, old, and the description says that it's old. And what is going on with this guy's... Leg. Like, oh, that's a basketball. I was about to say something wrong with that man leg. Yeah, so this is from J Law B Ball. He's back. Clay Thompson and Frank Nitty couldn't miss and Pro Am. Uh, this is unreleased footage. They said it is old, but it's actually unreleased footage. So we definitely about to react to it. Guys, Clay Thompson comes back, bro. This man ain't played in like two years, bro. This is crazy. But without further ado, we're going to get right into it, man. God, I miss that jumper, bro. I miss that jumper so much. Yo, I got to watch the game tomorrow, bro. Got up there. It looks like his movement's still good though. It looks like his movement's still good. But one thing I can say about Clay is that normally injuries like this, it always takes away from your athletic ability. So sometimes you have to uh, figure out another way to increase your game. As far as making yourself useful in another area as opposed to being that athletic. Because if y'all remember, like, Clay Thompson used to get up there. He used to run fast breaks, dunk the ball. Like, he used to do a little bit of shake and bake on people. But I don't know. We want to see. But I don't know if he's going to be able to do a lot of that anymore. I just hope that, you know, catch and shoot is mainly going to be his game. But I just hope that he expanded his game a little bit. Or I hope he find out a way that he can kind of expand his game. Um, the good thing about with Golden State now is that they don't really need him to score, per se. They just need him to get at least 20. I don't think they really need him to go off for like 50, 43 on like three dribbles. I mean, they could use that, but it's a slow process, bro. Get him back up to speed. You got Jordan Poole. You got, uh, uh, you got a Toscano. Um, yeah, you got Toscano. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you got Wiggins. Like, the Warriors have the pieces, bro. They don't really need offense. Yes, it comes in the playoffs. They're going to need that offense. But right now, bro, just let him, just let him do him, bro. Just let him figure everything out, you know. But I really do hope that, you know, he can expand his game. He hasn't played in two years, bro. Two years. The last time he played, Kevin Durant was still with the Warriors. That man ain't played in like since 2019, 2018. I just want to know how his cut's going to be. 
Cause you know, playing with the Warriors, that's all they do is just back little cuts, open cuts on screen. I just wonder how fast he's gonna be able to get out of them cuts and stuff. Are going to guard up on Comment down below. Do me a favor. Give me your opinion, right? In their prime, who would you start your team with? Clay Thompson or Paul George? Both of them have to be in their prime. Who would you start a team out with? Paul George or Clay Thompson? Comment down below. Let me know. He definitely ain't lost this jump, but that's the damn sure. Okay, Hold on, my damn camera not trying to focus, bro. There we go. Yo, he did not miss the whole entire thing, bro. Bro, I just seen him at least shoot like five jumpers and he did not miss. The forward, Frank. Who is this Frank Mini guy? Might look him up. Cool. Good ball movement. Good ball movement. First miss. That's his first miss. I just hope he stay aggressive, man. Don't think about your injury, bro. Just, bro, just stay aggressive, bro. I mean, you just see this a lot with like ACL, MCL injuries, and Achilles tear and stuff like that, like. We've seen some people come back from it. You from just look at Paul George. You from, well, I want to say Paul George, but uh... oh snap! Hold up! Get off me! Get off me! Strong on. But, uh, yeah, as far as, like, ACL tests, like, look at KD, bro. But, I mean, everybody can't be KD, but. 
he barely missing, bro. Yo, I think he's like seven for eight right now, bro. He's definitely seven for eight right now. But this is kind of like a taste of what you feel what I'm saying should come. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's looking good as far as his footwork. His footwork don't look like it changed. Oh, he shot that. His footwork looked like it didn't change. You feel what I'm saying? His jumper always won't be there. He's definitely aggressive. Now, don't get me wrong. This is kind of old, so I don't know how far into his rehab that this count, is. Count. But if this is any indication... Like, look at that. If this is any indication of him coming back from his injury, bro, I ain't gonna lie. He looks, he looks the same. He definitely looks the same, bro. Like, like he's not afraid to be aggressive. Like, look at that. Look at that. I like this. These fellas playing hard, though. They definitely playing hard. Good shot. Fishbowl. Haha, <laughs> fishbowl. Go ahead, that's cash. There you go. Knock that bit down. Is Clay out? Is Clay dirt? Well, I think Clay done. Hold up, let me see. I ain't gonna lie. If Clay done, we can end the video. Clay Thompson done. We can definitely end the video. Oh, yeah, I think Clay done. I right, bet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think Clay Thompson done. We can we can go end the video. That's what we came for. But I ain't gonna lie. If this is any indication of Clay Thompson coming back, like I said, I don't know how far this is to his rehab. That boy looked the same. That boy looks the same. He had two years of rest off. He's well rested, you feel what I'm saying? As long as he can get that killer instinct back, bro. Which I don't think never leaves you, but it's just it's just his confidence on his body, bro. But if this is, man, he barely missed. Like, I think he, from the jumpers I seen, yeah, he was, yo, he was like, he was like nine for 10, bro. Like, he was on fire. Like, he couldn't miss. Same thing with the title. So he really couldn't miss, though. But I'm going to definitely make sure, I'll, hopefully, I tune in. I got to work tomorrow. So it depends on what time the game come on. Hopefully, they even televise it. They probably not, but hopefully, we going to see. But that's Clay Thompson back. You feel what I'm saying? Hopefully, going forward, man, we can really, really, really appreciate Clay Thompson because he's been he's been gone. Yo, I ain't going to lie, bro. Steph Curry and Clay Thompson, we definitely missed them when they was hurt, bro. Now we can see why the NBA missed Steph Curry. Now we could possibly see why the NBA misses Klay Thompson, bro. Because we used to miss the Splash Brothers, bro. I think the NBA needs it. But I love you guys. I'm going to see you on the next one. I ain't going to lie. This video probably going to go up today. As soon as I... I might probably try to go to sleep. I'm going to upload this tomorrow for y'all. Love y'all. See you on the next one. Peace.